What's up YouTube, Colin here from TheAncestralMind.com. Today, I'm answering the question, what is better for weight loss, a carnivore or ketogenic diet? Is a keto-focused diet gonna get you better results or will be a carnivore, animal-based, almost zero-carb diet gonna get you those fat loss or weight loss results faster? So first, we're gonna define each diet. Of course, keep in mind, these definitions can range depending on who you talk to. And as it refers to keto, I'm also not going to be talking about therapeutic ketogenic diet that might be used to treat patients with epilepsy, for example. I'm gonna define keto in general terms as well as carnivore, at least the way I do it, and then I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons of each and what might be better for weight loss. So let's get to it. Keto is defined as a high fat diet with about 60 to 80% of your calories coming from fat, 10 to 15% coming from protein, and less than 5% coming from carbs. These ranges fluctuate depending on who you ask, and some even suggest keeping carbs to no more than 20 grams a day. Keep in mind that a keto diet is mostly focused on the quantity of food you're consuming and doesn't make any claims to the types of foods. So there's definitely keto done the wrong way and keto done the right way, depending on whether you're eating real foods or not. The carnivore diet, on the other hand, is a diet in which most of the nutrition comes from animal products, between 85 to 100% of calories. Carnivore is generally higher in protein than a keto diet, but of course you could do a strict keto carnivore diet that has the same ranges as keto, and you could use animal-based fats, and you could just eat less protein, so that's definitely one way to do it. And maybe after today's video, that's what you want to do. But if we were to compare the two, I would say that carnivore is best done with a much higher protein intake. I personally prefer every meal to be primarily protein, and then fat. Um, that's just what my body responds to best. And so that's the version of carnivore I'm gonna talk about today. Some versions of carnivore include dairy products, some don't. I personally consume dairy strategically and actually tomorrow I have a big shipment of raw dairy on the way to my home from Pennsylvania, I think. And I'm pretty excited about that. But the only thing I'm gonna say about dairy is if you can get raw dairy, aim for that. If you can't, for most part, you should probably be avoiding dairy. All right, now that we have keto and carnivore defined, I'm gonna answer the question of today's video. What's better for weight loss? Is it gonna be keto or is it gonna be carnivore? Instead of giving you a direct answer, you have to wait to the end of the video for that, I'm gonna give you my primary points first and you'll probably be able to ascertain which I prefer, but I will then summarize at the end of the video. So the first thing up is protein. On a carnivore diet, you are eating more protein. A lot of keto diets are focused around 20% or so calories from protein. Kind of a low protein diet, to be honest. And when you're eating a lot of protein, the number one benefit as it relates to fat loss or weight loss is satiety. Protein is the most filling food you can eat. It takes a while to chew, it's hard to overeat, and is the most thermogenic calorie you can eat, meaning your body has to process it using calories. You see, protein is very thermogenic, meaning your body has to expend energy to process it. Every macronutrient you eat, whether it's protein, carbs, or fat, requires processing by your body. We can all call this the thermogenic expense, estimated in terms of calories or percentage of calories. Protein is rated as the highest, most thermogenic calorie you can eat, with some people approximating at about 20 to 30% of calories consumed. What this means is if you consume 100 calories of protein, generally it's gonna take between 20 or 30 calories for your body to process that protein, netting in something like 60 to 80 calories range versus 100 calories. The same cannot be said for carbs or fat. Definitely a checkbox if you're eating more protein in general and definitely a win in this category for a carnivore diet. Now, I'm not a fan of calories in, calories out, so this is not just about whether you're eating less calories or not. But over prolonged periods of time, utilizing calorie restriction to aid in weight management and mostly to make sure you're not overeating and as well as weight loss and overall longevity, you're gonna see eating more protein is going to, one, fill you up, and it's going to reduce calories or at least prevent you from overeating calories without you even realizing it. And that's why I'm very pro-protein. A final side note on protein is there's a lot of poor research that tries to suggest eating too much protein can make you live a shorter life or can contribute to a strain in your kidneys. I kind of call bollocks in this and I think most of that research is nonsense. A lot of it's been based on observational research or epidemiological research or even research done in rats, which is always a stretch when you try to connect that to human health. If humans had issues eating protein, we'd have died off a long time ago. That's pretty much all I'm gonna say on that. I could end this video right now and you'd have my best answer as to whether I think carnivore or keto is better for weight loss. But I'm gonna give you a little bit more so you have a really good idea of what you should do in your own life if you're trying to lose weight and maybe how you could reach something right in the middle, kind of a little bit of keto, a little bit of carnivore, and that can help you reach your goals. 
Number two, animal products are more filling and harder to replace in the form of highly palatable junk food. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean that when you're eating an animal-based diet, you're looking for animal products and it's way harder to find those in the convenient snack options. Whereas if you're eating like a keto diet, you can always find some keto junk food at the store, some low carb chip or something, or like all these bars coming out. There's always seems to be something new on the market that is appealing to the low carb crowd. And all of it is is really just processed junk food. <laughs> it's not doing you any favors. The same cannot be said for animal products, which are just typically harder to find, especially quality animal products when you're out and about or when you're at the grocery store or whatever. And what that's gonna do is gonna keep you from overeating. It's gonna keep you from eating things you shouldn't be eating. It's gonna help you stay on track. It's just gonna simplify things, right? You Maybe you prep ahead. My opinion is this keeps you paying closer attention to your meals and the ingredients you're choosing. It also keeps you in the kitchen. And that's really where all your results come from. And that's where everybody should be if they're trying to lose weight. It gets you in the kitchen, it gets you cooking, and that's really my favorite way to do any diet, especially if you're trying to lose weight, okay? So when it comes to carnivore or keto, this is definitely a lifestyle benefit, but it's a benefit nonetheless. And that gives carnivore for weight loss a clear advantage. The carnivore diet is a nearly zero carb diet, which eliminates nearly all the plants. And if you're trying to lose weight or lose fat, and you don't have a clear understanding of how certain foods affect you, you might be hindering your fat loss results. So I like this part of carnivore because it eliminates everything. It serves as an elimination diet, just like you've heard of Whole30. You can use carnivore very similar to that and go to the next level, really eliminating all plants and then maybe experimenting with putting them back in and seeing how you feel. But if weight loss is your goal and if you're frustrated by maybe a plateau, well, you're gonna wanna do this. You're gonna wanna go full carnivore, remove everything and then add things slowly back in while experimenting and really listen to your body. Keto dieters consume carbs and they often consume a wide variety of plants or tubers or bars or things like that. And a lot of these can cause inflammation, leaky gut, and even autoimmune issues in some people or a lot of people that aren't even diagnosed, right? So if you don't have a clear understanding again of what's going on in your body, you're just shooting yourself in the foot. And because carnivore gets rid of all these, it gives you a clean slate and you can really experiment introduce them back a little bit at a time. And if you're getting weight loss results from eliminating them, then you might not wanna add them back in at all, at least until you reach your goals. And then you could really start reintroducing certain foods and see where it takes you. This is a huge benefit for weight loss, one that might be more or less effective for you depending on your own biology. So that's why you have to test. What this all comes down to though, is over the years, 15 years, having clients, having CrossFit Gym, weight loss for most people is very hard. Most of us have to have things really dialed in. And when you can make things simple, that's usually easier. It's easier for adherence and it's easier for uh, just getting it done every day, right? So the final benefit, which by now you know, I'm definitely more pro carnivore. I think carnivore is the best weight loss system on the planet, hands down. But the final benefit is simplicity. Carnivore diet is simple. I mean, you just can't state it any other way. I look at my fridge and there's some ground beef, maybe there's some bison, maybe there's a ribeye. I cook it up with some salt, add some butter, and I'm done. I'm full, my dishes are minimal, especially since I'm eating most of my food off the cutting board or out of the pan. And then I'm satisfied, I'm not yearning for more. You just can't show me another diet that does that. It really is amazing. If you're following keto diet now, or maybe even looking into it or interested in it, you could definitely try a hybrid carnivore keto approach. You would basically just take a keto diet and eliminate most of the junk foods that we talked about and the plant foods, or keep it very minimal, and then just maybe do 30 or 40% protein instead of 20%. You know, eat a bit more protein each meal and just kind of test how you feel and modulate that up or down, listening to your results and see what happens. Even recently, this past six months that I've been doing this myself and kind of really, really dialed in, I'm really excited for this and that's why I'm trying to promote this more on the channel. I think carnivore diet is a freaking, it's like a diamond in the rough, really. Like it's right there, diamond in plain sight or something. I don't know. I don't know what a good analogy is, but weight loss is hard. Maintaining weight is hard. Oh, not overeating is hard. There are so many options that tempt us. There's so many ways to go wrong. There's so many things we have to manage from sless, from sless, that's like sleep and stress together, from sleep and stress to lifestyle to getting sunlight, getting outside, moving. I'm a huge fan of the carnivore for all the reasons we talked about. And again, like I said, simplicity is huge. In all my years doing this, I have not found anything more powerful than this. I'm very pro carnivore. And I think at the end of the day, apples to apples, or I would say apples to oranges comparison, carnivore is gonna beat out keto for fat loss. Totally is. I also believe that it is the most ancestrally appropriate way to live. It's what our ancestors would have done. So what about you? What has your experience been trying a keto or carnivore diet? Are there any benefits I missed of either? Drop them below in the comments. I literally answer every single comment. 
pretty much always unless I miss it and I very rarely miss them. So I will respond to you and share your story. If you have maybe a story on how keto helped you and what you did, drop it below. Maybe carnivore, same thing, drop it below. Let's compare notes and let's help other people because every person is different. Like we're very much the same, which is why these things work, right? But we all are also different and there are so many foods and so many variables that are gonna affect us in different ways. We all have different stress levels. We all have different environmental toxins. It's just good to hear other people's perspectives because we have data that we could potentially test for ourselves. And then when we find the thing that works best for us, then we have our plan, our program, and nobody needs to tell us, and we don't pay anyone to get that, and that's what I want for you. And so like and subscribe, do all those things. Drop a comment below, like I said. Help me share this message. Ancestral health is what I believe gonna be our answer to the health crisis that we have and it's bad. And I don't want my son to grow up in a world where everyone is fat and sick and basically dependent on big, huge, monolith, faceless corporations. We've got to say no to big food. We've got to say no to big pharma. We got to take control of our health. We have to take back control of the narrative, you know, empower ourselves to question and challenge a lot of this nonsense that's been thrust upon us for years that they're even teaching in schools. And uh, I, I won't go there because this video will be another 20 minutes. I'll leave you with that. And I hope you saw with today's information. If you're thinking about doing a carnivore diet or maybe starting a little bit more towards carnivore, then I highly recommend you start today with that in whatever way that means. And if you're doing keto and you want to maybe try a couple weeks of a little bit more carnivore, I guarantee you, you're going to enjoy the results. And so that's going to be an experiment you should probably try. I look forward to hearing your results and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, hey, Colin here. Thanks for watching that video. I got a free PDF for you, The Seven Principles of Living Wild. Short and sweet, not long, not gonna be a novel you have to read or anything. Just a simple reference of the things that make you a healthy human. So click on the button below, get that right now, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.